I'm Cynthia Choi. I'm Robin Ryu. And I'm Junie Lee. There are stories and more on today's Jet Force. <laughs> the producers of GIS TV's Jet Stream bring you the Jet Force, featuring in depth investigative journalism on today's pressing issues. On the Jet Force, we dig deep and fly high in order to deliver the real stories that matter most. Our first segment affects not only students at DIS, but people all over the world. Cynthia Choi and Angela She brings you this piece on sleep deprivation. Hello DIS. These days, students don't realize how sleep deprivation is a major issue in school. So today we're here to research this problem more in depth. First, let's hear what the students have to say. I get five hours of sleep a day. Since I sleep five hours a day, I get sleepy and I cannot concentrate on my class. Painful. Just painful. No energy. No motivation for learning. Just constant thoughts of, why am I here? I want to go home. Can I go home? No. Uh, one other thing is the cause of this issue. In most cases, it's procrastination. When a teacher gives me a really long homework and gives me two weeks to work on it, that basically means I have three hours before deadline to do it. Clearly, students in DIS are not getting enough sleep. Based on our research, this is not just a school-wide issue, but a country-wide issue for teenagers. According to this survey conducted by the National Youth Policy Institute, Korean high school students sleep an average of 5 hours and 27 minutes a night, an hour less than 4 years ago, with 70% acknowledging that they are sleep-deprived. Yet, when teenagers enter their high school years, they find themselves at schools that typically start the day at a relatively early hour. So their time for sleep is compressed, and many are jolted out of bed before they are physically or mentally ready. In the process, they not only lose precious hours of rest, but their natural rhythm is disrupted, as they are being robbed of the dream-rich, rapid-eye movement stage of sleep, some of the deepest, most productive sleep time, and therefore lead to further issues in their school life and health aspects. Ever since I've come to this school, we've had learning labs in the library, and I tend to find students sleeping all the time, on the couch, at the desk, pretty much wherever they can find a, a hiding place, they will sleep. So I do believe it is because they stay up late studying for tests, exams. Um, some of them may stay up late playing video games all night, but I really do believe that they take school very seriously and that they stay up late studying every night. Social and cultural factors, as well as the advent of technology, lead to this endless loop of sleep deprivation. Students are staying up late to study since they aren't able to concentrate in class efficiently. Um, I think students stay up a lot, like late. Maybe doing homework, maybe cacao talk, maybe Snapchat. Um, and so they're not getting enough sleep. So they fall asleep in class and I have to wake them up and make them stand up if they can't stay awake. Um, and it's a problem because if a student's falling asleep in class, they're not paying attention, they're not learning what they need to learn. So it's important that students get enough sleep so they stay awake in class. Sleep deprivation affects our ability to function well at school and may contribute to mood swings and behavioral problems. We have some tips that may be helpful for you. Try to stay away from electronic devices one hour before you sleep. Eat light meals, avoid caffeine before you sleep, and reduce long daytime naps. Oh, hold on. Oh, we have just received a breaking news. Seems like sleep deprivation not only affects students. Let's take a look. It's a worldwide problem that affects many people, bullying. Originating from one person and displaced to another, the hurt feelings last years and years. Some people simply don't recover. This has never been more evident than in the modern day with the development of social media and cyberbullying. Robin Rue, Matthew Lee, and Dennis Lee bring you this special piece. Bullying is a serious problem around the world, and Korea is not the exception. Recently, there was a national scandal. Middle school girls beat up the victim until she was seriously harmed. However, many students do not know much about this problem. Today, I'm going to enter a random school as a new student and try to become the target of the bullies. But first, bullying occurs in a variety of ways. Here are some examples. Physical bullying includes hitting, kicking, tripping, pinching, and pushing or damaging property. Verbal bullying includes name calling, insults, and teasing. There are also social bullying which includes excluding people, lying, and spreading rumors. 
Cyberbullying is a relatively a new type of bullying where bullies text hurtful messages to people. In one large study, about 49% of children in grades 4 through 12 reported being bullied by other students at school at least once during September of 2014. So okay guys, so it was my first day in school and the school bullies is already trying to harass me. The bullies took my money today. That was supposed to be my lunch money. So I skipped lunch. So today the bullies posted a video of himself bullying me. He even revealed my address and my phone number and spread false information about me. Now random people are messaging me and calling me about it right now. Today, the bully hit my face today and it was the hardest day of my life. And I can't really do this anymore. So, how can we solve this problem? There are several ways. For social exclusion, try to find other students who are not supporting bullying and try to be friends with them. Playing sports together would be helpful. In Korea, there is a website where it encourages students to stop verbal harassment. Using websites like this can be also helpful to raise awareness about bullying. And finally, if peaceful ways to solve bullying does not work at all, consider calling the police for help. I'm Jeannie Lee. We'll be back soon with another edition of the Jet Force.